Nigel, there's a saying around these parts, there's an easy way, a hard way and a Mansfield Town way and yet again it was the Mansfield Town way. Yeah, should have been the easy way tonight uh, after the first half performance. Uh, some outstanding play, created so many chances. Uh, I think apart from a few free kicks in the odd corner, Nathan Bishop hardly touched the ball tonight uh, in the first half uh, and we should have really been out of sight. That's the next stage, if you put a couple of the chances away then we go in two or three up at half time and it's a bit more comfortable. Yeah, it's certainly a, a long process but it just show, shows, doesn't it, how important getting that second goal is yeah and we, it took us till the 91st minute but it was uh, it was vital because it won, us, it won us the game and you know anything can happen you give a silly free kick away as Elliot Hewitt did and all of a sudden Lab puts a brilliant free kick in off the far post I'm not sure if you're shooting or not or just putting it in the area <clears throat> but it's unstoppable uh, once it goes in, in, in as it did uh, and then we get a nervy minute and a half uh, but when you look over the course of 100 minutes we played some brilliant stuff tonight we should have scored three, four goals easily. I suppose just sticking with the end of the game for, for a second, there's two ways you can look at it. The, 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 the negative is obviously we, we conceded and the, con, the clean sheet's gone, which I'm guessing would have come as a bit of a disappointment because we've had mm. two on the spin and I don't think we've we did really deserved to concede tonight. No, nope, we should have had back-to-backs uh, again. We got the first ones in the league and we didn't deserve to concede. Uh, but when you have little players like I think Judge put the goal in, they're always capable of doing something a bit different. Uh, as he did with the free kick, uh, but the most important thing is the three points. Yeah, and then on the flip side of that as well, you know, when you do concede, you've got three or four players throwing themselves literally in front of the ball. That's as important as any of the good football that we played in the first half because that ultimately sees the game out. And you can be brilliant for 93, 94 minutes and then concede too late on and end up only with a point. So uh, it was important that we hung on, but we thoroughly deserved it. Let's talk about the goals then. Reese Oates is uh, on the 18th minute, a superb strike, counter-attacking football at his best, running through four defenders. Any other striker there would have gone down looking for a free kick, but not Reese Oates. No, he, stays, he tries to stay on his feet and uh, he keeps going and going and running and uh, the lads who were chasing him couldn't catch him and obviously the, the last defender's a bit wary of, of coming and engaging because if he brings him down, he's off. Uh, but so after run, running, what, 60, 70 yards to hit it like that, it's an absolutely special goal tonight. Very special goal, I think, for the supporters. I think they appreciated it. You don't see many like that at any level these days. And as much as people will talk about the run from Reese Oates for the first, let's talk about the combination play between Bauer and Ollie Clark for the second because that late in the game it, it's quite tempting just to run it into the corner but there was no intent of that yeah no we don't like doing that really unless there's sort of 30 seconds maybe 45 a minute to go something like that we, we don't like doing it uh, I think it's counterproductive I'd rather go for the goal uh, and he breaks away and then Ollie Clark makes a, a wonderful run the freshness of being subs as well uh, coming on uh, it's very important that the squad gets used in the next two and a half months as it was tonight Ollie Clark and Jordan dipped at Harrogate physically uh, I know it was a week ago, uh, but we need fresh legs out there and we'll, we'll need some again Saturday. And of course, you did have fresh legs out there tonight in the form of uh, Jamie Murphy, one of two changes tonight. What do you make of his debut? Because from the stands, he had people on the edge of their seats. He was outstanding at times. Uh, he's a very exciting player. Uh, it's just giving the ball uh, wherever he's on the pitch. I would just give it in wide central areas. Uh, and a lot of the times he does a simple thing, he just lays it off. And then other times he'll go at people, create, score. Uh, he's going to be an exciting player. Yeah, there's a little bit of an ace card up your sleeve tonight because you used, managed to use the concussion sub uh, to make four with uh, McLaughlin going off. What's the latest on, on Macca? Uh, it wasn't a, a, a trick, or it was it was con- a bit of concussion. He got a bang on the head and we're perfectly entitled to do it. It gives them an extra sub as well. Uh, but it worked out uh, okay for us. But he's okay, a little bit of a headache, uh, but he should be all right for Saturday. And I guess it just shows the importance of having so many utility players in your squad. Wallace can come on and play there. You've got a number of those who can sit in there now as well. The four subs were vital to us tonight to come on and, uh, and get us the three points. The only thing we wanted to do was get Matty Longstaff on the pitch tonight. Um, he's been chomping at the bit, obviously. We'll get on, you know, we've got what, 18 games to go. Uh, and once we get this month out of the way, when we're just Saturday to Saturday, it goes crazy in, uh, in March and April and we're going to need everybody. And it's a crazy month anyway, because it's literally going to be spent on the road now. Are you going to spend any time at home over the next month? Not an awful lot, but uh, we'll be on the bus, I know, quite a bit. A few long trips and uh, we're conscious it's long trips for our support as well uh, but we'll when we get there we'll try and put performance on for them let's turn our attentions to Bristol Rovers on Saturday what are you going to be expecting from uh, from them uh, I think Joey's teams are always stubborn uh, uh, you know and uh, difficult to break down and they also have a lot of good attacking threats uh, so I think they have two of the ex- most experienced midfielders in the league uh, in Glenn Whelan and, uh, and Paul Coots who we know well uh, and they're, they're two not only the experienced, two of the best players uh, and they'll keep the ball and make good decisions uh, so that'll be as tough as anything to deal with those two. Yeah and of course uh, 
the last home game for about a month tonight. Mm. Fans got you over the line again, didn't they? Yeah, they started in that, you know, late on, and the penalty just sort of. Uh, we didn't assume the game was over at that point, uh, you know, because you get one, they get one back uh, at any time as they did, and you, you have a nervy 60, 90 seconds. Uh, but over the course of the game, I hope they enjoyed some of the football again. What's the plans between now and, and Saturday? More rest in the legs after a hectic finish again? Yeah, we'll come in in the morning for sort of warm down and a training session for those that need it uh, Thursday off, and then we'll train and travel on Friday.